game thoughts of the head coach, Steve Nash. He spoke to the media and Michael moments ago. Hey, coach, we've talked about the, you know, the lack of size, but from a, but from an intensity standpoint, being locked in, effort, all of that, um, what do you see from your guys in the second half? I still need a little more. Um, you know, I just, I think we're last in the league in 50-50 balls, contested shots, hustle plays. You know, it's, it, we've just got to find a way to play harder, dig deeper. Uh, we're not a defensive roster. We have to take more pride in it, and we have to win more 50-50s, contest more shots, fight, scrap, claw. And that's what I think is is missing as much as anything schematic that we're breaking down. Is that your – you can expound on this, but is that your biggest takeaway from these last two games? And if not, what is the big yeah. takeaway from these games with the Cavs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you could say – you could talk about that we're not a defensive team or, or we, we made too many errors – schematically um but you know i think the bigger message is that you know showing up is we're just showing up to the gym is not good enough like we we're playing people that i think are excited to play and compete against our team and they're going to bring it every night and we have to match that um so that would be my my main overriding thought on these two games brian lewis with the new york post Hey, Steve, how concerning is it when you consider this is the same team that you, I mean, you just saw them two days ago. So you would think considering the way this, that game went, and this was a topic then as well, that your guys would be fully engaged and Cleveland would have your full attention. I mean, how concerning is it then to see that kind of effort level and physicality level? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to overreact. It's, it's a, uh... You know, but it is something that we have to continue to chip away at. We have to build that resolve, that hunger, that desire to 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 win some hustle battles, um, to win the turnover margin, the rebounding margin. You know, win in other ways. You know, we you know we 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 got a lot of things to work on. There's a lot to clean up. Um, you know, it's very early. Like I said, it's it's relatively new having Kai back after two weeks. Uh, James joining the team. Kevin sitting out tonight. It's a lot thrown at us. So, you know, I don't want to overreact, but we, we are going to urge the guys to, to clean up as much as we can uh, the hustle areas, but also schematically just continue to refine and get better. And you know how this league is. A few days ago, we we're on a four game winning streak and, and now we, we underperformed in two games. So we got to find a way to get ourselves, you know, uh, playing a little cleaner, a little sharper and trying to clean up some of these categories that we're, we're not competing well enough in. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve. In the first half, I think you guys just had two turnovers. You were you were really clean with it. And then in the third quarter, just that kind of all came unraveling. Just what, what do you think changed with that? I don't know. You know, um, you could say carelessness or you could say um, familiarity. We haven't, haven't played uh, together. It's the second game. Um, but, you know, you, you – you want to protect them in a sense and say like, Hey, it's early. And then at the same time, you know, you expect them to perform. So um, I don't want to give them an out, but I also uh, don't want to overreact on the night and realize that this is going to be a season where, you know, it's going to be funky. It's not going to be your normal growth and progression where, uh, you know, I think we've played more, more games than any team in the league and had less practice time and we're a new group and had a lot thrown at us. So I don't want to overreact, but uh we definitely are aware of our, our defensive inefficiencies um, and we have to control some of those things that we can control. We can't control necessarily uh, adding more defenders right now, but we can control how clean we are with our communication and our schemes. So we've worked on that every off day. Um, we go over it game day and we just got to keep chipping away and keep improving in those areas. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Uh Steve, Steve, it is still early in the season, and, and you said um, often that you don't want to overreact or put too much weight on early games, which makes sense. But is there a point where you have in your mind, this is when we need this figured out by? Is it, you know, when the play, the, nothing matters until the playoffs? Is When, when is the point to react? Well, there will be some reactions along the way, for sure. You've, you've already seen me get upset this year. Um, but having said that, you know, I do think this is one of those years and this is one of those groups uh, without a training camp. Um, 
you know, it's going to take us the entire year. So does that mean I expect us to be at this level until the playoffs? No, I expect us to improve and, you know, we'll have some weeks will be better than others, but as long as we're continually trending towards a higher level, that, that's, that's all you can ask for. So, um, you know, like I said, a couple of days ago, we were going well, and here we are um, getting outplayed twice in a row in Cleveland and, and we got to get back in and find that juice to, to, you know, if nothing else, make people feel us and, you know, make them uh, pay for, for, for what we play, well, how we play out there on the floor. Right now, it just felt like Cleveland never really had to feel us. And so that's, that's a lesson for us, and, and we'll, we'll get another shot at it tomorrow night.